It's your girl, Queen, reminding you guys to connect with us on patreon.com slash tmgfam, where you can get full exclusive access to all content, bonus videos, behind the scenes, vlogs, lives, and so much more. What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen Queen. We back with another reaction video, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Comedy Hour. Just welcome back in general, man. I hope everybody is having a great holiday season, man. Yes. Listen, Christmas is not far away, so. Yeah, it's like right there. There. Are y'all one of those families that wait till the last minute? Because we are. Yeah. Super. Yeah. No, no. I deliberately did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We waited till the last minute, but hey, we getting it done, though. We pretty much done. So, listen, man. Tonight for Comedy Hour, make sure you kick your kids out. Let me say that first. Tonight for Comedy Hour, we back with some more Daniel Tosh, man. I don't know about y'all, but I have been enjoying Daniel Tosh and his... What, what have you want? His hum his sense of humor, his his stand up, like his filter is removed. Yeah, it just, yeah, it just basically, basically. Yeah. I just like the way he puts it out there, man. So tonight we got some. His joint is called eggplant. We're gonna be checking out. All right. So the kids definitely need to be gone because we all know what the eggplant emoji means. So we don't know what that direction. might not even mean. What it it means vegetables. Right. That's he might be vegetables. talking about vegetables. You never know. But we just still need to make sure we're very clear. We love the children. Somebody That's said if it's somebody else's kids, that it doesn't matter. Yes, it still matters. Get them out the room. <laughs> Who asked that? <laughs> so listen. Here we go. Let's get into it. Life is about perspective. I see a handicapped person, I don't feel sorry for him. I'm like, hey, it's like being employee of the month for the rest of your life. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're seven oh, wow. seconds in it. And, uh, yeah, we are all pretty much just witnessed that. That just happened. Mm -hmm. That just happened. Don't close your eyes. Mm -hmm. it's like, Accept it in. It's like you're getting on the roller coaster and you strap in. Yeah, I'm ready for the ride. And they just say, zoom, and you just fall back. <laughs> Like, no. Were you really ready? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Let's start wasn't. it over then. Let's get Jeez. it. Life is about perspective. I see a handicapped person, I don't feel sorry for him. I'm like, hey, it's like being employee of the month for the rest of your life. <laughs> That's half full. <laughs> a pretty sweet parking spot. How'd you get it? <laughs> He's like, bullet in the spine. I'm like, worth it. Low five. Roll it in. <laughs> you don't go high five. Unless you have a hill and a ramp, then get a camera. That's going to be pretty exciting to watch. <laughs> you can laugh at this joke. Handicapped people like it. If they don't like it, turn their chair around. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Stare at you, depressing us. <laughs> you don't hear a lot about the charity work I do, and it's because I don't do any. <laughs> you know what's better than tax write-offs? Keeping your money. <laughs> That's just a fun joke to tell rich people not true. Uh, I work with Make-A-Wish all the time. That's an incredible experience uh, for me, not the kids that are dying. Yeah. Oh, wow. They chose to hang out with me. They knew what kind of jokes I told. They were okay with it. I don't pander on stage, and I certainly don't pander off stage. And I'm telling you, honestly, these dying kids have the best sense of humor on this planet. Their parents, not so much. <laughs> But I don't care. As soon as I meet them, I start giving it to them. Like, you sure you're dying? You know this is my weekend, right? <laughs> and they're like, I'm dying. <laughs> I can't. Yes, you can. No, yes, I Yes, you can and yes, you will. We are in this. We are both feet in. We're playing it. We're, we're on this ride. Let's go. Oh. Let's get back in. Keep your head in the game. Oh, there's so much left. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, soldier. Dying, like, I know this is my weekend, right? <laughs> and they're like, I'm dying. Like, all right, let's go. Don't cough on me, motherfucker. <laughs> they want to be teased like anybody else. They can handle it. Trust me, they've handled a lot worse. <laughs> this kid I was hanging out with last year, a bunch, was 17. I'm like, this is awesome that you're dying now. You got this in right under the wire. <laughs> if you don't know, the organization is 18 and under. So if you're dying of cancer at 19, they're like, I hope your dreams are cheap. <laughs> if you're laughing right now, it's because you're a good person. <laughs> and you realize how absurd that statement is. 
to think that they draw a hard line, but it's funny to think they might be holding their doors shut. Oh, you can't get in, kid, you're too old. And they don't even have to hold tight because the kids are so weak because the disease is winning. Don't feel bad for this kid. The first thing he said when he met me was, he told me I was his third choice. And to this day, I don't know if he was fucking kidding or not. <laughs> That's not cool, I'm healthy. I'm gonna live a long time. I don't need that noodling around up there. <laughs> and if it makes you feel any better at laughing at these jokes, know that he is cured and healthy now. He's not, he's dead. <laughs> but if some people need that, let them have it, right? Oh, he's okay? Oh, good. <laughs> you know. No, 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 uh-uh, no. Now, you, you you just like, you gotta give me a break. You gotta give me a break. Oh, full steam ahead. Tell me, I can't accept life. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I can't accept life. That's a perfect gauge for if we would ever hang out in a social setting. Know that if you've ever said any form of this statement, we would not. Uh, there's nothing funny about blank. <laughs> any form of that, know that I hate you to your core. <laughs> because I, along with some of you, respectfully disagree. You can accept that things are tragic and awful and still have a sense of humor about them. It doesn't make you a bad person, despite what some blog may say. Well, there's nothing funny about AIDS. There's nothing funny about rape. Uh, yes, there is. If you write a good joke, there's funny things about it. And some of you may be aware, I took a ton of bad press for making that statement verbatim. And then a woman screamed at me, there is nothing funny about rape. And I've never defended myself publicly, despite misquotes, mainly because I'm rich. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. I make my living saying shocking things, there's consequences. I can accept that. And people wrote me horrible stuff. I hope your daughter gets raped one day and we'll see how funny you think it is. So first of all, she'd have to survive the abortion. <laughs> Talk about two strikes against a kid, huh? Yeah. I appreciate your well wishes, kind soul. It's a joke, and it's my choice to have it. Yeah, this is where the feminists are usually torn, because we're on the same side on most issues. Abortion? Over here, you have a lifetime of stress and inevitable disappointment. And over here, you have freedom. Well, how much does freedom cost? A couple nights sleep and around $750. Seems extremely reasonable. If nobody is looking, I will take freedom. But they have fingernails at 14 days. Yeah, and I clip them. I'm pretty sure Dyson makes an attachment. Guys, it's a great product that never loses suction due to the engineering. Now. In the interest of full disclosure, I'm sponsored by Dyson. I get a couple thousand bucks for the plug. They're like, is there any place in your act where you could fit in our product? I'm like, I've got the perfect home for it. <laughs> Quick question, what's your company's stance on fetuses? We fucking hate them. <laughs> All right, let's move some units. I don't know what show you thought you bought tickets to, but I assure you this one's not getting softer. There's nothing funny about cancer. All right. If you haven't been affected in some way or another by cancer at this point of your life uh, and haven't developed a sense of humor about it, you're the crazy person. I saw a campaign in Phoenix where it says, the first thing you should do if you find out you have cancer is get a second opinion. Oh, really? The first thing? I was going to cry for a bit, but all right. <laughs> Let's make another doctor's appointment with somebody that probably can't see me for a few weeks. That has to be a fun time, just sitting around your house. Praying to God, your first doctor is an incompetent pile of shit. <laughs> and you finally see him and he's like, yeah, yeah, she was spot on. You should have been getting this treated. You have cancer. What if he says you don't have cancer? What is it, two out of three? When can I get some sympathy strange? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> There's nothing funny about child molestation. All right, then don't hang out with me. 
Yeah, because if you tell me a funny joke about a priest diddling a boy, I'm not gonna be like, what is wrong with you? Don't you know how serious that issue is? I'm gonna laugh because I'm not 11 or Catholic. I don't give a fuck. I can separate between reality and jokes. Who in here at one point in their life hasn't laughed at a Michael Jackson pedophile joke? Let's see if you laugh at this one. Did you know last year, dead, Michael Jackson made $180 million thanks to his new show in Vegas, which is amazing if you get a chance to see it. There's a hologram of Michael. It sings and dances the hits, and for an extra 500 a pop, you can go backstage and watch him try to ghost fuck your kid. <laughs> ah, you're laughing at pedophilia. Look at that. Oh. And you can't even be offended by the joke because ghost fucking's not real. <laughs> but I'm sure there's one ding bad in here. Yes, it is. I had a friend that was molested by a spirit. Hashtag ghost fucking is real. Who oh. <laughs> did this to me? I just keep looking over at you. Every time I look over at you, you're like, oh, a few more minutes of this. <laughs> oh, man. It's like you just put me on this conveyor belt to hell. <laughs> and I'm just laying there like, oh, crap, I'm supposed to be one, here. It's not one of them fast conveyor belts. No, it's, one it's slow. <laughs> Every now and then just stop. We just go, you know, trying to go. Be like, come on now. Yo. I'll laugh at the real thing from time to time. How about when Sandusky was asked point blank on national television if he's sexually attracted to boys? And he waited around 16 seconds to reply, and I quote, eh. <laughs> If you don't think I was at home pissing myself, <laughs> like, oh, did he just waffle on that softball question? Eh. Ask me if I'm sexually attracted to kids. I'm not. That's how long you should wait to answer that question. You don't mull it over for a bit. You certainly don't eyeball your lawyer. I wonder how he wants me to answer this one. <laughs> you come out swinging in a hurry or you deserve to burn in hell. He said the only thing he's ever been guilty of is he liked to put his hand on boys' legs. Mm -hmm. I've heard enough. <laughs> on that alone, you should be in jail forever. You want to hug your son longer than three seconds, you should be in jail forever. Yeah, my dad didn't hug me very much. He wasn't the best father, but he didn't fuck children, and I'll take it. <laughs> I don't believe he has. That's my biggest fear in life, that I do that joke and people are cheering, and there's one guy in here, he fucked me! I'm like, I am sorry. I am 99.8% positive he hasn't. He hasn't heard this joke yet. Now, my gut instinct is he's not gonna like it. But if he gets too upset, I'll be like, what are you hiding? Oh, man. Hey, see, you made it. This is where you get off your ride. Yeah, this is where it stalls for me to get back on tomorrow. <laughs> you, you, I ain't gonna lie. You are, you are I'm loving the Taj bits, but you make it better. Like, Cause this it's behind cringy. the sign and the happiness. Oh, yeah, yeah, the whole That's lineup. That's what I'm saying. The whole lineup. You just, just gotta lineup. give me a break in the between. Whole lineup. I would, but they're enjoying it, too. So you would do a disservice to your fam. You don't want to do a disservice to your fam, do you? We love them. They love us. God knows my heart. <laughs> I'm gonna blame you. Hey, y'all get at us in the comment section, man. Let us know what y'all think, man. Tosh is... Crazy, yes, and that's the only way you can put it, man. Y'all leave a like, share the video, and stick around and stay tuned till the next reaction video, man. Guess what? We might have Queen on another video, man. Y'all have to stick around and see. <laughs> till the next reaction video, we out. Peace, y'all. Stay solid. Hey. <gasps>